Enter the stars, and we're not going to be on here too long today. Maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. But I wanted to do this show with you guys today because this is super creepy. So I decided to look into the ancestry of Bitten and Don T. Because I thought there's no way that there can be any connection between these two individuals. There's been a lot of work out there on people looking into ancestry and how all of these presidents are related. So I thought, is there a relation to these two presidents? And this is what I found. They're not actually related, but their ancestors crossed paths in a very symbolic way that came full circle all the way down to today. And this is what we're going to talk about today. Now, Bittenden, of course, claims Irish ancestry, but really his ancestors track back all the way to Scotland. Here's the ancestor right here. His name is Walter de Baidun. We're going to call him Baidun, as you can see here, all the way back to the 1100s. Now, let's get into this ancestor and see how he links in to Mr. T himself, the Don. Now, it says here, by den, surname, definition, by Dune, Walter de Baidun, witness King David's gift of Rendelgross to the Abbey reading. He or succeeding Walter appears several times as the Chancellor of Scotland. Now, we've done a lot of videos on the Scottish prophecies that talked about the coming Don himself. But we never saw a connection yet with Bitten. Now, it appears from the historic record that this guy, Walter de Baidun, was basically the Chancellor of Scotland. And he was not only Chancellor to one king, but two and possibly three kings. Now, wrap to wrap your brain around this, the Chancellor is the highest office in the land under the king. Let's look at this here. Here are the, the kings that he served under. You've got David. Wait, let's go up here. You've got David. Let's make this smaller because you guys can't see it. There it is. King David the first from the 1100s. There is Walter, and that is actually Walter Badoon, and I'll show you that in a minute to confirm that. Not Walter Fitz. Then we skip Malcolm. We go to William. And here's Walter de Badoon again. Again, Bitten's ancestor. And that's about all he shows up in the historic record. Now... Here is what the Lord Chancellor does. It is the most important office in the cabinet. It says here, the Chancellor is the most important of the great officers. He is the cabinet minister responsible for the Ministry of Justice. So this would be like our Justice Department in modern day. Now, Let's keep going with this. Because this William character that Badoon served under, King William, let's show you this here. Where'd he go? Oh, sorry. A lot of tabs, you guys. Sorry to put this together because it's very convoluted. So you got to like make sure. The, here it is. Walter de Baidun. He sh served under William the First. Now who was William the First? William the First. Here he. Uh, that's a ham right there. Sorry. Where'd he go? Wait. 
But here's Walter. And he served under William I, as you just saw. Now, this first David was the first king of Scotland. And we're going to jump back to him until we figure out what happened to William in the tabs here. But look at this picture here. This is the first David, king of Scotland. And he is on the head of this serpent here. Okay. So if you've got this Ouroboros type of image here. Again, this was Biden's ancestor and he is holding a globe and a sword and a needle and these serpents are reaving around spinning around and crawling up and the serpent is in fact eating its tail so this is king david the first king david of scotland there is a king david the second but he ruled a hundred years later and so there's something really weird going on. And again, Badoon, Walter Badoon, was the chancellor to this king. So what are we really looking at here with this orb and needle? Well, we saw this same exact thing occur with the World's Fair, the orb and the needle. And we made all kinds of observations about that. So what I believe this is, is this is Apollo all over again. Abalon. And his arrow or spear. Now, Biden was also appointed by King William the Lion, he is called, until 1178. For some reason, I lost that tab. I don't know where it went. But this is what happens, you guys. I can't be perfect all the time. But King William is in here somewhere. And he basically uh, was the king under which Walter Biden served as well until 1178. But here's where things get weird, because 29 years later, the same William jailed Olaf the Black. Now, Olaf the Black is Trump's ancestor through his mother. Olaf was jailed for seven total years. And so this begins to comp uh, basically begins to create a picture. Here's William the Lion. Here's his Wikipedia page here. And he put Olaf the Black in jail for seven years. Here's the confirmation on that. In 1207, Olaf complained to Reginald that his share of the Lewes, this is the Isle of Lewis, where Trump's mother is from, was not sufficient for his maintenance. But instead of giving him any increased possessions, Reginald sent him as a prisoner to William the Lion, who kept him confined in Marchmont Castle until 1214. So he was jailed for seven years under the very king that Bynan served under as chancellor. Now, who is this Olaf the Black? Well, he was the Louds, L-E-O-D, father I got that pulled up here here is loud here and it says Liad was generally considered to have been the son of Olaf the Black and this is where you get into the McLeod uh, clan which is Trump's mother her last name is McLeod now, Biden was not the chancellor when Trump's ancestor was jailed, but the intertwined history is undeniable. Because a hundred years later, when David II ruled, let's pull him up, something else happened. Here's Clan McLeod. The earliest reference of the McLeods of Lewis, the Isle of Lewis, is found in a royal charter granted in the reign of David II, King of Scots. So you see how these histories are so closely intertwined when he signed this charter recognizing the McLeod clan. And of course the rest is history. There's a lot more history behind this, but those are the facts 
of how the two families were in very close proximity to one another, um, you know, ruling in the same area, and all of this coming full circle to all of the research that we've just done. This Ouroboros is very creepy. Look at the floor here. It almost looks like there's spikes down here. And sorry for the hiccup earlier, you guys, but, you know, that's just what happens sometimes. Now, there was a globe with... On the Economist. With Trump on the, on the front. Remember that? I'll be back in the chat in a second, you guys. Let's do a side-by-side -side and compare these. If I can find it. Of course, they don't want to show us. Do you guys remember that? That economist cover? Trump sitting on the toilet, maybe? He's holding an orb. Oh, wow, we got this one, too. With the Saudis. You guys will remember this. Wow, that kind of links into uh, the Unisphere and everything we've been talking about, doesn't it? Uh, creepy. The One World Order. Let's try to find this globe. Uh, maybe the world? Alright, American Foreign Policy, you guys know the one I'm talking about, I can't find it right now, so we're not going to get hung up on that. Or I could go back here, where you guys are amazing, you guys always help me with this stuff, right? Let's see here, one of you will know what that, what we should search for that. Economist, yeah, you guys remember, it's so weird how we can't find that. Do you guys remember what that cover was where he's sitting on there and he's holding the orb? Because I'd really like to do a side-by-side. -side. Yeah, with the toilet paper roll, remember? Let's try this. Let's make it more basic. Oh, here it is. Found it. Found it. Okay, let's do a side-by-side -side of this. This is crazy. Let's find out where to go. There it is. Okay. All right, let's zoom this in. So this is the judgment card. And what happened with us right now? Well, we've been judged, right? Isn't that what happened? Like, pretty much everybody on the right has now been judged. So this judgment card absolutely came true. And look at this. Compared to this. Now this of course is. Uh, this isn't even Biden's ancestor. This is the king of Biden's ancestor. To whom which he served as chancellor. King David the first of Scotland. But what is going on here with this orb thing. Now remember. Harris Tweed is the orb that you're looking at right here. I wish I could zoom in even further. Oh there we go. Alright cool. This is the orb from Harris Tweed. I'm going to show you this right now. And this is one of the only industries that exists 
in this Isle of Harris, which is the same island of Lewis. It's the same island, but for some reason they call them separate islands. But here is the logo for Harris Tweed. And as you can see, it matches up almost exactly with this globe here, side by side. See that? Definitely what they were getting at there. So that's his Scottish ancestry. We had also discovered that Unilever makes toilet paper. Actually, it was, um, who makes toilet paper? Not Unilever. It was the other corporation that, that got rich because of the spamdemic that he was associated with. They make toilet paper. The Koch brothers. Koch organization is what it was. So there were deals being made behind the scenes. A lot of people got rich off of the administration's policies and going along with this. When we all knew this wasn't real. And so now what we have is judgment across the world because we're all falling under this right now. So let's go into the chat. We'll just have an open discussion today with you guys until we pop off of here. Appreciate everybody coming out. Now, the guy you're looking at on the left of your screen, that is Olaf the Black. There's a picture of him. Isn't it weird how his little hair braid thing looks a lot like what Lady Gaga was wearing? That's Trump's direct ancestor. So there's something strange going on there. Yes, Coke. K-O-C-H. A lot of people were making fun of me because I was calling him Koch at first. I didn't know how to pronounce his name. But it's actually Coke. And there were deals cut behind the scenes over there as well. St. Andrew's Cross. X marks the spot. Thanks, Unknown. There's Michael. Hey, Michael. King used our family to kill the McLeods family. Mackenzie, our clown, got a crown and a coat of arms. A little bit of history, sounds like. Somebody knows. Good morning, disciple of the Messiah. Why did Kamal Harris get sworn in? Is that not typical for the vice president? I wasn't sure. Yeah, so, you know, um, right now, basically it's a free-for-all on the right. And the media wants you to believe that Mr. T has lost it all, right? He's losing everything. Well, until he's living in a middle-class house, you know, ordering Uber Eats to get his food like the rest of us, then I'll never believe that he's, you know, crying poverty. I just will never believe that. All right. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks for everybody coming out. They're going to rise with Joe in charge. Yes, I believe that is the. the but understand that the same thing was happening under the T administration. Okay, they're all working together. They just put on different masks in order to push the agenda forward. The agenda hasn't changed, okay? Uh, all that's happened is Bitten is trying to repackage the VC into his own as if he owned it. But never, ever, ever forget who made it. Never forget who commissioned a trillion dollars to make the VC. All of these people are complicit. Don't fall back into the right-left paradigm. It'll just be more of the same under Bitten. He will administer the bite. Now, I was working several hours on a decode from Johnny Mnemonic from 1995. And it's really happening right now. Unfortunately, you guys are going to have to wait for that one. I'm pretty much close to done with it. And uh, that's going to premiere in a few weeks. But it's really all happening right now. In the film, the pharma companies admit that they create the disease and also create the cure so they can double dip. It's it's literally in those words. So I'll have that uploaded. We may do a live show on that shortly after that. 
But all of this stuff is coming full circle. There's nothing new under the sun. All right. Um, the actions of the T-Man basically uh, are coming full circle as well. And they will over the next several decades as our Social Security and the cost of goods and all these things go through the ceiling. It will all, they'll blame it all on the, all the spending. You'll see it soon enough. They're going to start parading out. And saying, hey, we're in a really tough economic position because of CV. We took a huge hit. We did all we could. But now we got to pay the piper. And I think that that's how all this is going to go down in the near future. Someone asked me to look at Mr. T. The animated series. Look at this. October 8th. That's 8-8. 1983. This was right around the time that T-Tower opened. And it's called The Mystery of Rocky Mountain Express. Now, I probably won't decode this animated episode, but look at this. Three hooded criminals steal a top-secret biological virus and smuggle it on board. Also on board is a chimpanzee who is immune to the virus. This is right out of Planet of the Apes, which we've been looking at. And a team tries to help one of their own who's struggling with gymnastics and, and has been exposed to the virus. I might take a look at that animated episode. But look at it. It's season 4, episode 4. There's a 44 next to an 88, October 8th. And there you have something I probably need to take a look at. I wonder if they're going to have like masks and stuff in it. I guess we'll see. So maybe I'll look at that today. All right, let's go back with you guys here. Now I'll put links to all this in the pinned comment, of course. Yeah, he is a fake, isn't he? What just amazes me is how all these people are connected somehow. And it always has to do with them being ruling, ruling over all of us, right? I mean, I mean anyone on this program right now... You can look back through your ancestry, and I don't think any of us has had anybody who's been in a leadership or ruling position. And that's how you know how this works. It's all about bloodlines. So, what's up with all the body bags and camps they are building? Well, of course, they're going to use the cover of, oh, we're in the middle of a spamdemic. And we need all these just in case. See how we kind of got duped? Before it was really weird to have all that laying around. And now they're going to have a really good excuse to have it laying around. Some people are saying come visit Scotland. That'd be cool. The Economist cover with the disaster timeline. No, I have not seen that. How's the hummingbird? Yeah, it's been back. The nest is like more full. And uh, it, we had a really windy day. Blown around, poor thing. But I think at night it comes back. It'll probably be laying eggs soon. But why would a hummingbird be wet laying eggs in the middle of winter? Maybe it's getting ready for the spring. I don't know. Do I think Trump is the anti Antichrist? No, I, I do not believe that that's the case Um, at this point. Now there's a lot of crazy stuff going on on YouTube. And nobody is hearing from the Q ball channels. And isn't it weird? Remember I warned you guys about channels like Amazing Polly. Everyone was so in love with that channel. She's so great. But I'm like, there's something weird about this. Why does she keep running interference for Q ball and the T-Man? Well, right around three months ago, all those channels went down at the same time. And many of them did not even try to start new channels. X22 report. Because they were all psyops, you guys. I know that's hard to wrap your brain around. But once we've gone through what we just went through, and you look at the channels that are still standing, that have been telling you the truth from the very beginning, and I'm not a person that likes to gloat, and that's not what I'm doing here. I'm not gloating. Because there are some channels that are, you know, milking this for all it's worth. 
and gloating about how bad the cue balls were wrong. I'm not going to do that. In fact, I welcome them with open arms because now they're very lost. And I anticipate that there will be some flags that are false that are going to happen where some of these people are going to turn on some of these people that lied to them. You might see it in the headlines in the next few days. You're going to see like, because uh, they're going to want to dramatize this, right? They're going to want to emphasize how dangerous this is, how well, you know, what the cue balls were up to. And so you're going to see them turning on these people. And this is why these people tuck tailed and ran. Some of them remained anonymous, like X, uh, X-22 report remained anonymous. So you don't even know who he is. And he just scowled away about three months ago, claiming his channel got removed. When in actuality, it's very easy to delete your own channel. Unless you show people that you were actually lost your channel. And I don't know this. I don't watch that channel. But all I know is they had everybody fooled. And while we were trying to warn everybody to stay outside of the route life paradigm and telling them how dangerous this was. Yeah, we have freedom of speech. I would never want anyone to just be wiped off the platform for lying, which is what they did. We had the Simon guy and he just lied through his teeth. Almost, he had a million subscribers. How is it that that many people can go and listen to a person like that? It's very frustrating for a YouTuber like myself, who's been right 99% of the time. Who's been trying to tell you guys, don't believe the right-left paradigm. We need to focus on the things that we've been talking about forever. All of a sudden, everyone forgot about trails in the sky. All of a sudden, everybody forgot that the, 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 that nobody gets to the presidency without already selling out. You're not even going to get close. I don't care how much social media you have behind you. You're not even going to get close. These people have been pre-selected. We've seen the predictive programming in films and television, how these people are pre-selected. So all of a sudden, everybody put their brain on the shelf and they went for the hopium. I know you guys have probably heard that word hopium over and over again. But understand it's not people's fault. It's the leaders in the community, the channels on YouTube. It's their fault because they profited off of people's hope, telling everyone to buy gold. And every time you click that link to buy gold, guess what? They get paid. Noble Gold pays their channels, these channels, hundreds, thousands of dollars a month to push their product. I'm just being straight with you guys. You notice we don't have a bunch of sponsors loaded up on this channel. And there's a reason for that. Because you don't profit off of people's pain and you don't profit off of hope. It's not why God put us here. So, all these channels were making money hand over fist. Many of them were monetized for a long time, which I don't, you know, I'm not criticizing them for being monetized, but when you're lying and you're monetized, and you're feeding off of the lies and making a bunch of money on YouTube, I have a problem with that. And then it becomes about the lie and propping up the lie. You see how that works? Because there's an incentive to lie because look how fast those channels grew. Now, YouTube's part of this as well. This is called Create and Destroy. So they allowed these channels to rise up. They allowed a Simon to get a million subscribers. Notice how here we are over here in our little corner of YouTube dropping hard, hard work every single day. And you, you notice how small our channel stays, how slowly it grows. And then you get a guy like Simon who pops on the scene within the last six months or a year and could get a million subscribers. That's because YouTube allows that because they let you build it and then they bring it down. And all the little channels that copied a Simon and mirrored his work and mirrored all his stuff, they're very easy to take down now because they've been identified through the algorithms. That's what we just went through right now. Whether people want to believe it or not, that's what we just went through. And so, yes, it's frustrating, but guess what? There's what's called forgiveness and waiting with open arms to those who were deceived. If you go on Simon's channel, you will see in the comments, for some reason, the comments are still enabled. He hasn't uploaded in weeks. And on the last uh, last video that he uploaded, uh, there, there he's just getting roasted. 
people are really upset. They're like, you lied to us. Well, we've been trying to tell you that all along. Chuck, I don't think that Amazing Polly just couldn't realize that the cue balls were a psyop. I think she intentionally did that on purpose. Because think about the theories. They were so out there. Even now, there's a still a faction of the cue ball movement that is here on YouTube saying that within 30 days that Mr. T is going to take it all back. So... If you don't know who Simon is, it's probably for the best, but um, who covered him was High Impact Flicks. Brian covered Simon. He's got clips of him lying through his teeth, saying that he had inside sources confirmed, saying that there were all these indictments. They're even saying that, oh, they had to let Bitten take the presidency. That way, he finally broke the law by taking it, and now we're going to take it back. This is what people are saying right now. It's absolutely insane. And all this does is drag people away from the truth and focusing their time on that. And instead of instead, they focus on hoping and wishing and praying for a man whose intentions were never to turn things around. He was part of the Tony trap and he knew it. Draw them out, smoke them out, and then crush them. And that's exactly what they've done and what they're doing right now as we speak. The people on the right, no one, everyone's afraid to mention Mr. T's name now. No one wants to talk about him. No one wants to talk about how they voted. It's just they're just all quiet. And now you're seeing news headlines every single day of the left just reaving the right at every turn. Just basically going through and rooting them all out. All their Facebook groups are getting deleted. All their Twitter accounts are getting deleted. Anything that says M-A-G-A is just gone now. So, I don't know who else was out there pushing the Q hopium, but there were many, many channels. Many. And I would see them, the, the people that go to those channels, and there are comments section. Going and going and going. So, here we are. And guess what? Bitten is no different. He's getting the Enter the Stars treatment as well. We've already started in on him. He's the new. And we have first had a bad Don. Now we have a Biden. They're the same creature. They're the same man in the mirror. These people are like the frogs of Revelation. They just keep reproducing into different incarnations and forms. It's probably some kind of like a demon. They keep possessing these, these people. Keeps them under control is what I think is happening. So that's where everything stands. Yeah, Simon said the whole thing was it just felt shady from the from the get go, you know. Bacon toast is here for the comments. Cool. At least you're here. Yeah, the T Man separated people into two huge groups is a perfect division, but he can only have done that on the heels of Obama. That's the only way that could have happened. So these they keep flip-flopping. So what we get is we get a literal progression of check, checkerboard squares or chess squares. Okay, So we go black, white, black, white, black, white. I remember being a child and playing checkers. And there was something about the, the checkerboard that was neat. You know, that I and that I could put my pieces on only the one color. And you couldn't touch the other color. That's called duality. Okay? And something about that would con could confuse your opponent. Even though you're sitting looking at it in plain sight. Realizing they're about to get jumped three times. The opponent wouldn't see it because of the duality of the checkerboard. They would be indecisive or they'd make the wrong move. And all of a sudden, you're jumping them three and four and five times. That's exactly how the elite use the chessboard. It's like hypnotic. It puts you to sleep because you're looking at the duality of the check the chessboard and the pieces versus the moves that they're making. They're making moves in plain sight. So, this is what I we've been talking about since we've been on this well, not since we've been on the channel, but probably the last 5 years. We we kind of discovered that this is what was happening. And that you can't believe in any of these presidents. They're all propped up. They all made it through the glass ceiling. 
and that's just is what it is. They always say something and do another. All right. All right. I guess we're going to get off here today. We'll be back on her tomorrow because Mr. Bitten himself has declared his W-A-R on domestic T-E-R-R-E-O-R. -R -E -R. I can't spell this morning. So that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. And this is where it's all headed. This is what we told you was going to happen. That the honey trap that Mr. T set will now be turned from the next president. And he is coming after the right. Now the question will become, what will be the definition of this word, these two words? What will be the definition? Well, we're going to find out. Because it's not going to be the definition that you think it is. It's going to be anyone that speaks outside the lines. And anyone who who they feel, you know, promotes a mindset that could lead to this. You won't be able to say anything anymore. So this is where it's all headed. We're going to cover that tomorrow and get into that. They're talking about re-educating the T supporters, which sounds a lot like a re-education camp. So this is weird. We're getting into some weird times, you guys. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you tomorrow. Much love.